right there, Mr. Fry? Tell me something. Take this! Cheers. seem to want my employer's attention, Mr. Fry. Oh, I positively crave it. But you'll do for now. As you like. There you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Yeah. I'm sure he can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. 
Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. No Kaylock. Hmm. No matter. Attack! to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. of the blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. 
We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats. to the rooks. <laughs> ah, you bastard. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks than run Bertha another mile for that doughty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hide out on the rails? What an excellent idea. <laughs> Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greenie. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. You talk a restore in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Old friends, if you will. Give me a whiff of that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our knife and fork afore we're ready. Mr. Green said there was someone he wanted you to meet. 